All right, so what up, y'all? Today, I'm going to be telling you all about my experience being a section leader in a school. I was a section leader for like two or three months. Uh, my A school is six months. So uh, it was, it's really good experience for the fleet. So uh, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. Let's get right into the video. Yeah, I'm pull up to the spot. This shit way too fucking lit. Members only in my gang. What's our queen? Queen? All right, y'all. I know I usually do videos at my desk with my roommate is sleeping for watch so i don't want to wake him so i'm in a car so you're gonna have to excuse that but yeah let me let me tell you guys about my experience being a section leader so i'm gonna be graduated by the time this video posts but i went to a school at fort me maryland and i was going to a school to be an mc which is a mass communication specialist or the people who do journalism social media photography write articles for the military uh, I'm going to be doing more videos about that as this channel progresses. So if this is a job that actually interests you, you should go ahead and leave a like and subscribe because I am going to do my best to document my entire experience uh, over this next five years. Five year contract, I got about four and a half years in, in the fleet coming up because uh, I graduate May 3rd and I will already be graduated by the time this post so I can say that. So for me, being a section leader is a lot of fun. Um, it, it was really good experience to get leadership experience early, especially uh, I got section leader as an E1. I, I just hit E2, I just ranked up, um, but I got section leader as an E1 and that put me in charge of uh, E2s, e, E3s. And I even had an E4 uh, under me as my assistant section leader as time progressed and I stopped being the assistant section leader and became the senior section leader. But it was it was really cool. Uh, the first thing I did to get it was go through a board. And the board, if you guys don't know what a, what a board is for this, it's uh, they ask you a bunch of questions just to see how you would respond to certain scenarios that they give you. And if you end up going to this command, I don't wanna actually talk about the questions that they ask me. But the first time, I didn't get it. Um, so, you know, a lot of the times in the fleet, especially, like you don't get things the first time you go for a board. Like the first time you board, you don't you don't get it typically. That's what a lot of the people ahead of me in the Navy have said, uh, especially when you're ranking up, going for chief, things like that. Sometimes, sometimes you don't rank up immediately or you get exactly what you want immediately. Uh, and for me, after I did my board, I was determined to become section leader. So I ended up going for it again. Now, never quitting and going for what you want and saying you're gonna do what you're gonna do is probably one of the most important things that you can do. You have to have integrity with yourself to do exactly what you say. So for me, I told everyone I was gonna be section leader. I didn't make it. I was pretty embarrassed that I didn't make it because I was really, really hype and I thought I had it and I just didn't get it. And so Whenever I didn't get it, I was I was kind of humbled by that, and I started doing a lot of extra work. I ended up doing a retirement ceremony. I started talking to my senior chief, um, my two first classes, and I, I was trying to become, you know, like better, uh, better connected and seen as more of a person worthy of leadership. And that's that's something that you're probably gonna have to do in the Navy in general uh, if you want to, you know, progress and rank up quickly. I, I can't tell you too much about ranking up because I've only done it like once and it's just to E1 to E2. So that doesn't really, you know, do much. But I uh, ended up going through my second board and that second board was a lot easier than the first. I kind of had a general idea of what I was going to do. And what really helped me, I think, was being the only person to go for the board again. Um, a lot of people gave up on being section leader after that. So I had a really good chance of getting it. And there was three other people who went with me and you know, maybe they were they were better. They did better in the board than me, but they ended up just making us all section leaders. So we all got it and that was really cool. Once I ended up getting it, I became the assistant section leader to uh, a mid senior section leader and then a senior section leader uh, who had been there longer than both of us. Uh, a lot of the time, the senior section leader, at least where I was, is a person graduating and they'll point three to a section just because that one's leaving. And so they want to go ahead have the, and have the replacement who's going to train everybody up. So as assistant section leader, my job was to make sure that everybody was there on time. So we had PT at 4.30 in the morning. My I'd get down there early, like 10 minutes early. And I would just make sure people were there. 
Um, I had a giant list of people there, and if they didn't, if they weren't there, I'd go up to the rooms that I'd get them, and yeah, that was pretty much it. I was pretty much just responsible for making sure everyone in my section was there, and things were going well, and responding to problems that my senior section leader couldn't respond to. So, uh, on the our chain of command, it was the assistant and then the senior. Then, whenever I became senior section leader, I actually really, really enjoy the position because instead of you know, waking up early, showing up to musters early and making sure everyone's there and making sure everybody is accountable. I was instead responsible for the watch bill. So I became the watch bill coordinator. And as a section leader at my A school, you didn't have to stand watch. So I would never stand watch and I would just make sure the watch bill was running smooth. Everybody was standing watch and nothing was going wrong on watch. And that was pretty pretty nice i really enjoyed like the organization and the responsibility which came with that i felt like i could help a lot of people say somebody had homework i tried to help them out as best as they could my job was also to communicate with the mtis which were my first classes and senior chief and my cs2s who are also in my chain of command just uh just things that were going on in my section and i also reported my senior watch officer who was uh second class um at my A school, like they weren't officers, they were just called senior watch officers, but they weren't. They were just uh, they were just regular enlisted people. So I reported to them, and they would report to the MTIs, and that was that was pretty cool because I saw actual problems, and I felt like I actually had solutions. So I definitely feel like I did make somewhat of an impact on like how things run, and also just making sure people get qualled stuff like that. And I also had the opportunity to uh in dock some newer people and kind of show them the debt make sure that they were doing the right thing following the rules getting their watch calls and that was that was a really cool experience I, I really liked being like the first interaction with somebody at the debt outside of boot camp so that was that was really cool all in all though like i really enjoyed being a section leader i personally like to gravitate towards leadership positions um i i i know it's funny i tell people this all the time i i'm in the military but like as a person, I don't really like to be told what to do. I mean, I do what I'm supposed to do. Like if somebody tells me to do something and gives me an order, I'll carry it out like 100% because that's what I'm supposed to do. That's my duty. But the less, the less I can get told what to do and the more I can be like a leader and like manage and inspire, that's, that's more what gets me going throughout the day. So as a section leader, I was able to do that. And I, I really, really, really am happy with that experience. And if you are trying to become a section leader or, you know, you're researching like what a section leader is, you know, I, I definitely recommend it. It's it's all it's a little bit more responsibility. Sometimes it can get hard um, because people are depending on you. But at the same time, it gives you like valuable, valuable experience. And you learn how to actually communicate with people more effectively and also make sure people are following the rules, but also learning how to be fair and a good judgment of what to do in situations so i i definitely am going to look back and be like yeah like i'm really happy i did that anyway that's going to be the end of this video if you like what i had to say go ahead and leave a like and subscribe i'm going to be doing more videos i do videos every friday um occasionally i post music videos on here um i know i posted one on like may 1st and i also do sometimes like motivation like like those kind of videos where I talk about like self-improvement and stuff, but I mean, I'm still working on that stuff. So, you know, I don't know. I, a lot of this channel is meant for me to like document my life and document my experiences as they happen. And being a section leader was on my mind. So yeah, uh, I appreciate each and every one of you for following me along with this journey. Hopefully I can help you guys with these videos. Uh, again, I really appreciate all the love and support. So y'all go ahead and leave a like and subscribe, man. Thanks so much. Follow me on Instagram at DeepSide999. Also, my music is linked down below. And none of this um, video are the views of the actual organization in the Navy. This is just my experience uh, or the Department of Defense. So don't confuse it as like official information. And what else was I going to say? I just want to say that I uh, really appreciate you guys. And yeah, man, y'all stay blessed. Peace.